All right. It's recording. Guys, um, have you ever heard of... I Probably you did hear it, but have you ever heard of the saying, ignorance is bliss? Well, it simply means that if you're not aware of, some, of something negative, then it won't affect you. So, the less you know, the better. Okay? It's a saying from England. Okay, and this is the belief of the world. The belief of unbelief is that ignorance is bliss. Now, and there are many Christians who also hold on to this idea that ignorance is bliss. Now, that is not what scripture tells us. In the Bible, God makes clear, my people are perishing though because of lack of knowledge. You see? Now, I'm, you can look up the scripture for yourself online. I believe it's in the book of Hosea, I believe. But um, let me break this down to you guys that having a lack of knowledge is no blessing and there's no benefit in it at all. First of all, the Lord God did not say, my, my people, the, let me say, the Lord God did not say, the world perishing due to lack of knowledge. God was not talking about the world here. Okay? God was saying, my people perish due to lack of knowledge. Okay? And listen carefully, the Lord did not say, my people lack because of because they have no knowledge. Neither does God say, my people perish due to wrong knowledge. The Lord makes clear, my people perish due to lack of knowledge. Think about that, lack of knowledge. So, there is knowledge, there is a, there is a certain understanding, but it's not enough you know, it is, it's, it's not enough. And well, I'm going to give a few examples about this, okay? Let's say you have a child of four years old. You tell the child, don't talk to strangers. And don't just go outside. Why? The child is four years old. There are child predators out there. The child cannot make any decisions about dangerous circumstances yet. So, if a child would talk to strangers, most 9 out of 10 times, it might go wrong. So, that's the understanding the child gets, is to not talk with strangers because you don't know who they are. Okay? Once the child is grown older, let's say it's a girl and the girl is now 20 years old, she has to let go of the knowledge she received as a four-year-old to not talk with strangers. She has to let go of it because that knowledge has become outdated for her. She is to get married, to have children, or to travel, or to make new friends, so she, she has to accept the truth that in life, you have to make risks, you can't see your way through, you can't figure everything out, and you Need to get, need to gain other knowledge in how to go through life. And, but yet you see many people, women and men, that hold on to outdated knowledge that they've received in their early years. And they keep on justifying outdated knowledge. So they are lacking fresh knowledge for their present day. For their present life. Yet they're, they're, they think that they are alright, but they're not alright. Okay? So, oh, let me give another example. Let's say you have a pilot, okay? The pilot has 10 years' experience with flying Cessna jets, okay? Then one day he, he is offered a job to fly a Boeing 747. And from that time, also an Airbus. An Airbus and a Boeing 747 are big planes. It's, 
is quite different than flying those chest Cessna jets. Okay? So the pilot now has to upgrade his knowledge about flying. He should repent from his experience as a Cessna pilot and now repent to the experience as to as a pilot to fly Boeings and and um, Airbuses. You see? Because if the dead pilot would fly that Boeing or that Airbus with the same knowledge as he, he did when he flew, flew those Kessler jets, he'll put himself in danger and all those hundreds of passengers. Okay? So listen. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance can kill you. And let's be real about that. Um, for example, let's say you have a woman that she's married, but she's not satisfied. She cannot have a satis she cannot she cannot have a satisfied sexual life with her partner, and she has a tendency to cheat. Now, it's true that she wants to have a marriage that's stable. At the same time, she isn't capable of being satisfied with her husband. Okay? Now, people that have lack of understanding, they would see the circumstances and say, well, that woman is just a hoe. She's just bad news. Okay? But people with understanding will look at her life and they will do research to her childhood and upbringing and they will find that she had a father that was very distant and violent. A father that would, love, that would lash out whenever he didn't have his way. And she, as a daughter, grew up with that. And she was also humiliated a few times publicly by her, her dad. So she has a struggle with her father. And the father never repented of his crime towards her. And now she grew older, she started dating guys, and she never managed to feel safe with other men. Why? Because her relationship with the primary man in her life was an unhealthy one. And she still is not um, healed from the child from the trauma. She encountered with her dad. So it does not matter how much willpower she invests in her marriage if she's not healed with the trauma it will still cause trouble for her and her husband and her children. You see? So I'm not saying that a childhood trauma is an excuse for her cheating and all of that but, you, but it is an indicator. It is a cause. And you see, so often we are too focused upon blaming and punishment that we don't want to look and we don't want to investigate issues deeper to see what's going on. And why don't we do that? Because we have lack of knowledge. You see? Um, I use... There are children... You see, who have demon spirits attached to them. And those children are violent and at unease. So what I, uh, what I often see is that parents often whoop and spank their children when they're at unease. Well, hold on a minute. Demon spirits exist. And if in a household there are open doors for demons, those demons can also uh, harass the children. Parents are responsible for the spiritual well-being of their children. But there, let me say, there was, a time, there was a time that I saw this little guy of three years old. He was very angry and he wasn't at peace. And his grandmother used to beat him all the time. Then one day I decided, okay, I'm going to pray upon this, this child 
And in the name of Jesus Christ, I bound the spirit of anger. You see? Uh, and um, I mean this. Shortly after I did that, a, a spirit manifested out of that child. And I could see him standing in the living room. And I told him, leave. The demon left and the child became at peace, joyful, happy, and there were no problems with the child anymore. You see? But what if you don't, what if I wasn't around? That child would have been abused and molested emotionally all the time. And the people would not have been aware that it's a demon spirit that is causing the behavior. They would have blamed the child and harmed the child for life because they don't want to take the effort to look at what's going on. You see? So a lot of people have been damaged by their parents due to the lack of knowledge of their parents and also the lack of knowledge of their families and their households in which they grew up. But listen to this. Most people reject knowledge. They are not humble to learn. Yet they are proud enough to harm others with their lack of understanding. So, that's why, you know, when, if there are things happening in your life, you see, ask the Father in the name of Jesus Christ to teach, to give you wisdom and understanding. You see? For example, it can be that you, uh, it can be that you are facing rejection at job applications. And you think, hold on a minute, I've got the degrees, I've got good manners, why are people taking me at a job? What you're not aware of is that at those jobs, you have satanic coffins operating that generate the success of the company. Many of the employees over there aren't aware of it either. However, you have the Holy Spirit, you have a God inside of you, and that's why the uh, the demons around there cannot have you over there because it would frustrate the demons from operating and the whole company would uh, lose and go bankrupt if you are around. So that's why you are applying for jobs at certain companies where they won't take you because those companies depend upon satanic charms. But if you're not aware of this, then you might fall into self-blame and in depression and see yourself as a failure. Okay? And others around you who often lack understanding and have no interest in gaining understanding, they love to condemn you and to look down upon you. So listen, with everything you facing, gain with everything you face, gain understanding of what's going on. I'm gonna give another example. Uh, there was this guy. You see, when he was uh, four till six years old, his father used to be very aggressive against him, also in public. Even tried to he, the man even tried to beat that son as if he would beat a grown man with fists and all of that. And you see, after a while, his parents divorced. You see, and um, the guy had a lot of trouble at school. Also, he, he was arrested a few times by the police, and the guy acknowledged, well, Rashid, I'm wrong, I shouldn't behave so aggressively, I understand it. And he, show, he showed a willingness to change, but he had difficulties somewhere. And I told him, um, listen, dude, I'm paraphrasing now, but this is what I said to him, listen, dude, your father went too far with his so-called discipline. He went too far and your mother allowed it. They're both guilty and they both need to repent of how they are treating you. Yes, you made your own choices that were also wrong. However, the anger you have inside of you that, you're, that, you, can, that you are expressing with the aggression, it comes from your parents' parental abuse, from the child abuse you endured by your father and by your mother who allowed it. So I told them, listen guy, if your parents do not want to treat you with honor, 
with safety, then don't deal with them. Do the same with your siblings. Asphalt told me, yes, I'm going to do that, you see. Now, that guy was previously talking about that you need to be the alpha male, you need to show who's the boss and everything. But after he understood, and then we realized, hold on a minute, true. He even admitted itself, oh, Rashid, you're telling the truth. My parents, they did went too far. They did, they are out of, out of hand. You see, when he understood what was happening to him, it changed the way he took things and it changed the way he acted also. If he would have remained in lack of understanding, he may have put his faith in physical strength and that may have led him to more trouble or even to his premature death. You see? So, listen. You need to have fresh knowledge. Ignorance will kill you. Ignorance will also put others around you in danger. Look, when you lack understanding in a certain area, you are at a disadvantage. You see? And those who... There are people who will see that you lack knowledge in a certain area. It can be a sexual area, it can be a financial area, it doesn't matter which area. If you lack understanding in a certain area, and let me say it like this, if you lack spiritual understanding, and spiritual knowledge that you lack on almost every area of your life because human beings are spiritual beings and spirit, spirituality affects all areas of your life. So if you lack understanding about spirituality, you are at a great disadvantage. And what happens now? You are often not aware that you are at a great disadvantage. But others are aware of it and others will use you they will use your disadvantage for their advantage. And after you're not even aware of it, because you don't even know that you are at a disadvantage. To you, everything seems fine. But they see it and they are using your ignorance for their good. Because, and because they know very well if you were, if you were wise, you wouldn't allow their behavior towards you. Look, ignorance is how the world operates. You see? Because, let's be real people, if, if the full truth should be told, this world cannot operate anymore. You see? Why do many wives accept they are bad by their husbands? It's because they aren't aware. <coughs> it's because they are not aware that they are either bad or they aren't aware of the truth that they can find someone better. However, many wives are better, so if all better wives would leave their husbands, a lot of communities would fall apart. Another thing, if children that have grown up would disassociate themselves from abusive parents, then I can guarantee you that most families and most communities would fall apart. Because child abuse by parents are a pandemic. It's everywhere. So, gaining understanding will have an impact upon you and upon your environment. And the world will fight against it. Nevertheless, gain understanding because you need it. Well, that being said, y'all, I'm going to close this audio clip now. And may Jesus' grace be with you.